hey Brent, I'm working in Azure currently, and the Azure architect is placing all the MDF and LDF files on one drive and saying that it's a better setup than uh, creating separate data and log drives. Are the previous ways of creating a database server no longer valid? When a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, when you had separate physical drives, with each with their own throughput, and the throughput was fairly limited, people would sometimes say, I'm going to get more throughput uh, by separating data and log files. And then they would also have different settings for those data and log volumes. The log volume might be tuned for writes, whereas the data volume might be tuned for reads. And then over time, storage, local storage, got so fast, and, and solid state storage that was attached to a network, got so fast that that became a dumb idea again. Then for a while in the cloud, it did make sense to separate data and log files uh, drives on, or files on a different drives, uh, different volumes, because cloud storage is so catastrophically slow. These days, I have totally different guidance, and I teach it to you in my Faster, Cheaper Cloud Databases class. The punchline in there is that it really depends on how you're configuring your volumes. Most of the time, it's easier to set one big Windows RAID array, one Windows software RAID, and then when you need capacity, you can just add volumes to that RAID array, as opposed to trying to micromanage which volumes have the most capacity and speed and how you're going to carve those up. The sad thing with cloud storage is that it performs really, really poorly, so you end up buying way more capacity than you need just to get the performance that you want. You have to usually stripe together several one terabyte drives to get the performance that you want in Azure.